Hello everybody, this is Rolo Twin Bros, and we want to show our latest scripting utility for DAS Studio. We call it Bring Us Together. It is actually, uh, we have two, ver uh, two three versions of this script that's going to be available. We're going to have the uh, limited edition, which is free. We're going to have the full edition, and then we'll have the learning edition. You can see here we've brought up DAS Studio 4.12, and we've added some primitive shapes into the scene so that we can demo these uh, the script for you. So we'll start off with the uh, the light limited edition version LE. So basically, what you want to do is, if you have object in your scene that you want to bring together to the same x, y, and z uh, coordinates, uh, or or even make something similar, maybe you want them all the same height but not the same x, y, or x and z. So uh, we got this. We developed this utility for that, so you don't have to go into the parameters on each individual. You know, you could go to each cube or like each uh, node, and you could change the x, y, and z. So let's say if you wanted everybody to be where the cube is at, you could copy this X and you could copy the Y, which is zero in this case, and the Z. And then you could go to every other node that you wanted and you go change them all manually. But let's just say you want a quick way of getting all these other shapes right there where the cube is because you now you've got the cube in the perfect location for the scene you're developing. So the light edition, excuse me, limited edition, <clears throat> basically uh, lets you whatever the first uh, object you select in the scene uh, is the one they'll go to. And now we did say the cube, but we're going to go ahead and change that. We're going to make it the uh, cylinder since it's not the first one in here because for the, by default most people go like this and the cube would have been first. But if you want to select uh, in a different order, so let's say we'll click, this, uh, we'll click this cylinder first and then we'll hold the control key for Windows. I'm not sure what it is for the Mac. And then we'll select the other objects. And then once we have them all selected, uh, since this was the first one we selected and we run the limited edition, it should take uh, all those items right over to it. Now you may not be able to see them all because they're all in the way, but we'll hide the cube. You can see there's the cylinder still. We'll hide the cylinder. And of course there's this cone. We'll hide the cone and you see there's the sphere. So everything went to the first selected object with the limited edition, which we think is pretty nice. So we're going to go ahead and reload this scene and we'll be right back. So the difference between the limited edition and the uh, full edition here is uh, that you can, so we'll go ahead and just select these all. So we're going to go ahead and, up, and then we'll run the full edition. And you see here it brings up a pop-up window. Now this one has a lot more features and options for you. You can say move everything to where the first selected object was, or the last object you selected, <clears throat> or the world center which in this case is actually where this sphere is. We left it on 0, 0, 0, so we'd have a reference. So we'll actually go, we'll go ahead and use the first selected, which would be the cube up there. That's the first thing we did select. Now remember, it depends on the order you select them, uh, which one is first and which one is last. So we'll go ahead and do move. And there you go. It says move to the first was completed, and everything went to there. But let's just say, ah, gosh, I picked the wrong one. I can click undo, put everything back, and say, no, I want everything to go to the last one. And then I can move them again. And then they'll go to the last thing, which would have been the cylinder in this case. Then, of course, you always can use the undo for the one time. It's a one-time undo. It just undoes the last thing you did uh, with the move. Uh, you could do the world center. And, then, of course, we do have the sphere in the world center so that we would uh, have a focal point for you to look at. So we'll go ahead and do that move. You can see they all move to the world center. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and uh, get out of this really quick and we're going to show you another nice feature so we're going to take over here we're going to take the cylinder let's say you had a whole bunch of airplanes in the scene we'll go ahead and move the cylinder up to there and then we're going to go ahead and we'll select all with the cylinder being last and then we'll run the script again so if you noticed, you can choose which of the affected axes. And so in this case, we don't. Let's say we want to leave everything where it's at in uh, on the ground plane, which would be the x and the z. But we just want to, the y axis to change to match uh, whatever objects we move to. So we'll uncheck everything, just leave the y. And of course, we did do the cylinder last, so we will pick last selected. So now when you do the move, you'll see that it raised all those up to the same y level as as the uh, last selected. And of course, these would work with any of the move objects too. Uh, so that's what we would we just use the last select in this case. And then of course you got the undo, which we can bring back to where we were. So we think you'll find this quite handy. Um, you might find uh, let's say let's move this back to a zero y. 
let's say you want to line them all up uh, on the X so you could just do like this uh, we know the sphere is right in the center oh we'll just use the we'll just use we're going to use the world center here so we're going to use world center but we want to line everything up on X let's see how that works you'll see they all lined up on the X to zero and you can do the same to line them all up on the Y without changing any of the other coordinates for the objects. We think it's going to, you'll find it handy when you're uh, loading a whole bunch of things in the scene all of a sudden. Something's way off in the scene, way back here, and you want to bring it up to where something else is without having to manually go adjust all those parameters. And of course, we did mention there was three versions of this. There's going to be the Learning Edition, which will include the full source codes for those people that want to learn how to do Dash Script and how we actually did it with the little pop-up, how to create the giz uh, the widgets and the buttons, the radio buttons, the check mark checks boxes, and also the buttons at the bottom. We hope this uh, piqued your interest in our latest script. Bring us together. Have a great day.